Welcome to this introduction to our videos on digital audio theory. Analog audio is a method for representing the unique shape of a changing air pressure energy sound wave in another form of energy, such as electricity or magnetism, in order to transmit, process, amplify or store it. In essence, a pattern of changing air pressure energy is converted by a microphone into an electrical pressure signal which retains the same pattern. The signal may then be processed, amplified and sent to a loudspeaker system or converted to a pattern of magnetic flux stored on analogue recording tape. Electrical analogue audio signals may also be originated within the electronic circuits of an analogue oscillator. So what then is digital audio? Digital audio is a method of representing sound with binary code. It takes the form of a mathematical description of the shape of a sound wave and offers several advantages over the representation of sound in analog, electrical and magnetic forms. These advantages include Digital audio can be stored and transferred in a wide range of physical forms. Digital audio can be edited non-destructively and processed by software algorithms and applications. Digital recordings benefit from easy non-linear access. Digital audio has the potential for wider dynamic range and much lower distortion than analog. Digital audio is simple to distribute across networks. And data is easily cloned. A digital audio signal can be created from scratch in software or derived from an analog audio signal via a process known as analog to digital conversion. By studying analog to digital conversion, we can arrive at a useful understanding of what digital audio is and what properties determine its quality. There are many compelling reasons for home and project studio owners to learn basic digital audio theory, including to ensure robust and secure data storage and file management procedures are understood and implemented, to be able to make informed decisions about digital game structures, to be able to successfully configure analog to digital converters to produce the required results, to be able to successfully synchronise a network of digital audio devices. To be able to identify, diagnose and remedy digital audio problems. And to be able to make informed decisions regarding file formats for production, mastering and network distribution. Digital audio theory is as important as and depends upon a comprehensive understanding of sound wave theory. So if you are not familiar with concepts such as frequency, harmonics and amplitude, you should watch our sound wave theory videos first. Although learning digital audio theory is challenging, it is comforting to know that sound engineers only need to know a fraction of the theory required by designers of digital technologies, and we only have to learn the theory once. The fundamentals have not changed in decades and are unlikely to do so anytime soon. The six primary digital audio subject areas that home and project studio owners need to know are binary counting systems and units of memory and storage, data size, capacity and rate, analog to digital conversion including the two primary properties of digital audio, sample rate and word length, digital audio file formats, digital interconnection and latency. The script for this tutorial, along with accompanying images, can be found at our website projectstudiohandbook.com. We suggest you subscribe at our YouTube channel and join our mailing list at our website to receive notification of new videos, blog posts and subscriber only extras. Thanks for watching. Thank you.